Hello there, Spokane Business Community. Mark Pond here with the Spokane Public Library, and what I want to do over the next few minutes is just quickly run you through the process of downloading your results from A to Z databases. So we've already put together a couple of tutorials, one looking at how to set up your geographic region within A to Z, the other looking at how to pull together a list of businesses, and then finally one looking at households and individual consumer. So in terms of being able to capture that information, step number one, getting logged into A to Z. You know, your easiest route there is just go to spokanebusiness.org, come here to A to Z, click on the Spokane Public Library link. It will ask you for your library card number if you're doing this from outside the library. If you don't already have that, get in touch and we can get you pointed in the right direction there. So for the sake of this example, I just, I'm gonna pull together a really quick set of results here, just so that we have some data to work with. So let's say that we wanted to Come in here, we are looking at Spokane County, and then let's pull together a list of all of the construction firms scattered around the county. So we run our search. There are our 1,938 construction firms of various stripes. And in terms of being able to download this information, you can download these records all day, every day. There's no upper limit there. But you'll note that you are limited to doing it in batches of up to a thousand records at a time. So the process there is step number one, just change that records per page to a hundred records per page, just in terms of making this the most efficient route possible. And then from here, just click that little box right there next to the business name header, and that grabs all 100 records here on the first page. Then you go to page two, Repeat that process. There's your first 200 records. Go to page three, and you get the sense of how this flows. So just keep doing that up through page 10. Okay, here we are on page 10. So now we have our first thousand records selected. And then if we come over here, upper right hand corner to the download option. I normally just leave things in Excel, but you have a couple different formats there. I usually also just grab all of the data available, but you can select certain fields should you want to do that. And we say continue, give it just a minute, and then it should just dump it straight in spreadsheet format for you. So there we go. So there are your first thousand records. Save this file, and then you can minimize it and come back here to your list of results. There is one technical hurdle here to be aware of. So you just download your first batch of a thousand, and then if you go to page 11 to start gathering that next batch. If you come over here and click the button, you'll, you'll get an error message saying that you've gone over your thousand records allowed per search. And what's happening is that all 10 pages of those records that you just downloaded, those are all still selected and they're trying to get, download them again. So the way around that is if we revise the search, give it just a second, it will, it will load all of your search filters that you just used previously. Run the search again, and it will give you the same data set in the same order, but instead of going page by page, you can just jump straight to page 11, hit enter, and that gets you right where you need to be to then start downloading this next batch. So that's the process for downloading these records, and it's the exact same process on the consumer slash household side of the database as well. So just know that the, it's the exact same functionality there. All right, hope this gets you pointed in the right direction, but if you do have other questions, please be in touch.